hello guys and welcome to this uh, tutorial which is the which is part b of the seven tutorial whereby we're creating a uh, pg routing application geo server leaflet and um pg routing so last time you were able to create the nearest vertex uh, vertex um sql view and in this tutorial we'll be continuing so as to create the shortest path um sql view and then test it so that we are certain that we are able to get the shortest uh, path between two points so let's go ahead and create the second sql view so just follow the same procedure add new layer select the store configure new sql view and then you are going to call this show uh, show shortest 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 path is going to call it shortest path and then we are going to go ahead and create uh, our sql view there so here we are going to use the digikist algorithm which we had explained later so if you don't uh, remember or if you want to refresh you can go back and see what we did there so we are going to go ahead and write the sql view so the sql function that you're going to use so we are going to select the from the results of the digital algorithm i know it will return sequences so i'm going to call it r so this should be the result from the digikistra so say r dot sequence c this comes from the digikistra uh, so i'm going to call it as sequence so i'm going to pick the minimum one from the result and then I'm going to pick uh, e all Oh, so I'm just going to write and then I'll explain what you are going to do. But basically the major part will be uh, explaining the digikistra and how it fits into this SQL view. So all ID and then as ID this is what now we'll see. <coughs> and then e dot name the name of the road and then which represent the shortest path for each uh, so each sequence and then you have the e dot type the type of the road and we also have the we have to get the total distance we are going to sum e dot distance uh, d distance and then call this as distance and then we want to return a multi-line string if it's one line or we combine uh, the the line string for each segment into a combined geographical uh, uh, feature collection in this case a multi-line string so to do that we are going to use the post gis st st collect function we're going to give it the geometry uh, so it's the geometry field which is the geom and then return this as uh, geom and then um we're doing this selecting from now we're going to write the digikistra pgr using the pgr routing module which is um dg registra make sure we type it correctly <laughs> and then say select the id so again this we had explained earlier so you can go back and see what the digikistra algorithm does or consult the manual but i'm just going to so it's taking the source of the nodes the target the distance this one should be returned back this we are using the distance as our costing so and then say from selecting this from the edges noded table and then um pass in the source which is our parameter and then we also pass the target this this now will come from the the front end application so once you have found the nearest vertex for the starting points and destination points so you are going to send now the ids for those vertices so that's what you're representing for the starting point should be the source and the destination uh, is the target starting is the source the end or the destination is the target and then there's false so 
uh, this is the parameters from uh, pg uh, pg digikistra pgr digikistra as r so this is the r that we are using up here and then uh, we are going to say um also say it's selecting also from the edges loaded so that was for the digikistra now this is uh, the what should be queried back the result now and then I just know did this is now as e uh, where r dot age the result from the age from the the gkistra uh, results should be equal to the e dot id and then you should group the results by the ids so we say old id is from the uh, the edges noted and then e dot name and e dot type so we use these fields to group this the result so um the parameters that we are using are using the the source in this case it's supposed to be um an integer so you can say just one and then validate it like just copy the the regular expression so this will only accept integers and then I'm going to add another parameter which is the target and this should be say two for default it can be any but make sure then the the nodes the node that you are giving is in your database so for simplicity just take one and two so in case you don't pass uh, any source and target this will be used as the as the default one and so um let's make sure that we have everything as expected so we have the uh -huh. Did you kiss I type correctly? Mm. Yeah, so once we have this, we should test it. Oh, so in group, group, yeah, so we have it there. So, want it to be a multi line thing, so we said that. And then we there our SRID 4326, said that. And then um compute from bonds and yeah once we do that it should be up and running so now we need to test this uh, on uh, maybe on our browser before we create the real application that will be querying this so last time this is the map that we we got this as the shortest uh, the nearest vertex so that was uh, if you can look from the data that came that was vertex 86 so we'll use this as the starting point so now we need also to we need to add the end one so maybe say somewhere here so we'll come add this and this there and then get the coordinates make sure uh, this is the x the longitude we come and replace it here longitude this is the query to get the the nearest vertex so we need to get the id and then we take the latitude also mm. put it also there Make sure you don't have any spaces there. If you are good, do that and we find that our nearest is uh, the ID is 129. We can visualize this so that we see it on a map exactly. So we can copy this, duplicate it there, and change this to that one. Yeah, so that is our nearest one. So now, once we have that, of course, this now won't uh, won't be appearing. So we can go ahead and 
and uh, delete that one delete the other one so that we remain in those now this is the destination and this is the endpoint so uh, we know that the first one was 86 so the second was is 129 so we're going to mark that so now if i can i can explain how the query is built so the first part as usual the base url and then the geo server the wfs parameters and then the type name in this case is the store name and then the view in this case is the shortest path and then the parameters in this case will be the source so source we found it to be 86 and then the destination or rather the target we found it to be 129 so the starting point and then the destination and then the format you want it in your json so this is what we'll put here so we say 86 and then the and destination point the target should be one two nine so make sure it's correct and then you can go ahead and test this and see if it gives us the results so you can see here we have a multi-line string so um <clears throat> we can go ahead and pick the, these features um up to up to somewhere here right copy this um, actually we can just pick from here to there copy that and then see the end and then add it there and boom there we are we have our we have got the shortest part between this point and that point so yeah doesn't give give so much like um show some corners some yeah but basically it gives us the result we wanted so as you can see from this point the nearest vertex is around somewhere here and this one is around here so we are able to calculate the starting point and the ending point vertices and then get the shortest path between these two so in a real application now you'll want to click and then click there and then pick this automatically make the queries to get the shortest vertex and the nearest vertex i mean and the and then after you have found the nearest ones for each the starting and the destination and then send this together to the shortest path sql and then you get your path and then display it on the map uh, automatically and not in this manual way but this was just for illustration so now we have our sql views the hard work is done now the interesting part of creating an, a visualization map using leaflet will be our next uh, our next uh, our next tutorial so until then see you guys